what's your name? Dre. Alright, Dre, how old are you? 19. How did 9 11 affect you the day of the event? Uh, I know that my mom came and got me out of school early. I know that she was telling me it was a safety thing. The whole country was acting different. You know, it was under attack, so, you know, that's everybody's safety. That's y'all lives that matter, so, plus it's a big issue. Now, how is it affecting you personally on a today to day level? Terrorist threats and attacks going on in the world. So yeah, I mean it's affecting everybody. It's not just me. I, I would be, you know, worried about it, cause you know that did happen. It killed a lot of people, and it could happen again. So you gotta take take heed into that. All right, thank you, Dre. All right, bro. All right what's your name? Walter. All right, Walter. How old are you? <laughs> uh, 18. All right, Walter. So on the day of 9/11, the original attack, what were you doing, and how did it affect you? I was a baby then, but I, it really affected me growing up as in trying to get on the plane. Some people kind of discourage you during your race. They don't know if you're a terrorist or not, if you're a Muslim, your religion, or anything else. It kind of made our, our security tighten up a little bit, more arms to protect the people and, in our country. Thank you, Walter. I love the insight you just gave me. Yep. Hello, sir. What is your name? Uh, my name is Costa. Hello, Costa. How old are you? I'm 32. All right. And as you can tell, today is 9-11. How did the original attack affect you personally? Let's see, I woke up to hearing it on the radio. I was actually in Washington, D.C. And uh, I woke up when I heard the radio talking in the next room was talking about the attacks. And um, I was pretty self-absorbed at that time in my life. It was a long time ago. I didn't really uh, care about you know anyone or, or anything but myself. So I kind of dismissed the the whole, you know, situation as just, you know, kind of an outside issue. I got you. I know what you mean. I didn't know anyone eh, who was hurt or killed, um, so it didn't really, it didn't really, uh, I wasn't really concerned about it. I viewed it more as just like a, as a propaganda, you know, I figured it was probably staged, you know, to justify, you know, the political, uh, the war basically against Iraq, you know, mm -hmm. for oil. I really just, it seemed like a big, uh, uh, like a big ploy in a scam. sense. Scam, yeah. Exactly. Like a big scam just to justify that, you know, that war, you know, for the oil. I gotcha. And now how is it affecting you today in your everyday life since then? And if it's not, it's perfectly fine to say that too. Yeah, well, <clears throat> kind of similar, you know, to the way it originally affected me. I gotcha. I mean, the war has been going on before 9-11, <clears throat> and the war continues to go on after 9-11. Exactly. Um, whether or not it was staged, I, even if it was staged, I think that's what whoever staged it would want you to think. Exactly. So it doesn't really care how you look at it, it's pretty screwed up either way. I gotcha. All right, thank you for this yeah. amazing interview. I'm so glad that I got to talk to you. Thank you. Have a wonderful time. All right. Sorry for taking your time as well. Hi Jenna, how old are you? 20 years old. Alright Jenna, so today is 9-11. How did 9-11 affect you the day of the attack? And where were you? 
Um, I actually, I was overseas in England because I lived over there. Okay. And I was already home from school and I was just playing in the backyard from, with my sister, older sister. And I don't remember a lot of it, but I know my sister tells me all the time that she remembers like looking inside and like seeing my mom like sitting on the couch and crying. And we didn't really understand what was going on, but we like, she says that she remembers seeing her and being worried, but not really understanding what was going on. And she was only a year older than me. So. How has 9-11's attack affected you today and throughout your daily life? I mean, my first instinct is to think of like airports because I, I travel. Oh, okay. So it's, everything's a lot, I guess, tougher, but at the same time, I think everybody's just a lot more cautious. In a way, it's kind of sad because there's a lot less trust in the world, but at the same time, I guess it is good to be cautious when you have situations like these. That's true, that's very true. Thank you. So Alright, glad we had this talk. Yeah. What is your name? Sage. How old are you? 21. Where were you and how did it affect you the day of 9-11? Honestly, I was just really scared because I was living with my parents at the time when I was five or six. And I just remember asking them, like, what's going on? Like, are, are the bad guys going to come and get us too? And I had no idea. I really couldn't comprehend it because nothing like that had happened. So it's crazy because the adults were scared too. So I feel like as a, even as a small kid, you could pick up on that. So. Yeah, definitely. Now, how do you feel that the attack of 9/11 affects us today in our daily lives, along with the worldly views? Um, I feel like everyone's a lot more aware of terrorism after it happened in the United States. I mean, it's happened a few times since then, it was like the Boston Marathon and everything, but. That was really like the first wake up call that like, the United States was kind of vulnerable in my opinion. You know, people can say like conspiracy theories, but no matter what, like, I feel like in the back of our minds are kind of like that, whether it's conspiracy or not, like, and that things like that can happen to us here. And so I feel like it was just kind of, it's affected us in that way. And I also feel like it's made us a lot more, a lot more, uh, like we're, we're not as sensitive to that like, Muslim people and I feel like that's an issue because I feel like a lot of people just automatically stereotype every person just because of like the acts of like a few people so I totally agree with you thank you for this interview it was amazing hope you have a great day and continue to spread your thoughts to the world
Look, now he's hot. What's your name? Coleman. All right, Coleman, how old are you? 18 years old. All right, Coleman, so where were you, and what was your initial thoughts on the day of 9-11? Let's see, I was three years old, and I remember I was in my living room, and my mom turned the television on, and I uh, threw it on the news. Alright, so this is the first time y'all are seeing my face today. Because I did the vlog a little bit different than usual. I did a different style than I'm normally used to doing. And I liked it a little bit more than I did before. Because I get to interact with a lot of different people and meet new things and learn different ideas. Then it's super cool how I did this. I hope that y'all enjoyed it. I'm not saying I'm going to do this every day. And I'm not saying I'm not going to do it ever so often again. Because I thought it was really cool to interview people and figure out what they thought about a big important topic and how it takes place today. Or for y'all, I guess it will be yesterday's when y'all uh, had 9-11. To keep an open mind, not to the fact of 9-11 per se, but just to my channel in general because I'm going to be going around and trying to broaden my, uh, my own horizon and spectrum and just get a different type of styles and be able to pick from whatever I want to do that day and hopefully y'all can enjoy that. And It's like having a different movie each day like I originally wanted to do and I kind of got stuck in that cold cut factory. I'm going to be trying a few little challenge experiment type things that a couple of my other vlogger friends that I've met have been doing. Uh, and yeah, so I just hope that y'all totally enjoy what I'm uh, going to be giving out to y'all pretty soon. So, Alright, so as I was saying, down below, Pippin Boards, you know what's up. I got my social media and my email, so hit me up only if you have a Pippin Board requirement down in the email. But everything else, I love it when y'all talk to me, so keep that coming. Talk to me down in the comments. I love the chatter. Y'all are amazing. And as always.